So in this study, participants were enrolled to measure the production and the clearance rates of amyloid beta. And the participants were age matched to be around 75 years old. And they consisted of two groups of people. One group had been carefully cognitively examined to be shown to be cognitively normal. There was no sign of any dementia or difficulty in thinking. The other group, however, was demonstrated and diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease at a very mild or a mild stage. And so these people came in and, and did these studies where they labeled the proteins, we sampled the cerebral spinal fluid, we analyzed the amounts of production and clearance rates in each individual, and then we compared the two groups. And what we found in the two groups was that the people with Alzheimer's disease and the people who were cognitively normal had nearly the same average level of production. However, what was significantly different was the people with Alzheimer's disease had impaired clearance. Their clearance was about 30% slower than the people who were cognitively normal. And the reason that's important to know is because the amount of amyloid beta that's being produced or cleared away indicates a mechanism or a cause for the disease. And that cause then can be targeted by treatments uh, looking to change the course of the disease. So for example, if pneumonia is caused by a bacterial infection, then it's important to know the cause of the disease in order to have the right treatments, antibiotics, which clear the bacteria. In this particular case, if we know the cause of Alzheimer's disease being either increased production or impaired clearance, it helps us focus on those mechanisms that are likely going awry in the disease. So in this study, we're finding significant differences in the clearance mechanisms. And I think that highlights the importance of studying these clearance mechanisms in the normal human central nervous system and figuring out what's happening. Why is it going down so much? Is this an effect of the amyloid deposition, the amyloid plaques? Or does this precede those amyloid plaques and cause the plaques to form? Another possibility for the implications for Alzheimer's research is the magnitude of the change. And in this initial report, we estimated that if normal clearance mechanism was down by about 30%, it would take upwards of about 10 years for people to build up the amyloid beta in their brains to reach the amounts that are present in Alzheimer's disease. And so this gives us a sense of how much time it may take for amyloid clearance to be impaired. And that offers a window of opportunity that if, if truly, if people's clearance is impaired for 10 years before they're diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, then that's an opportunity for treatments to intervene at that time before people get demented, before too much brain damage occurs.